out of the exoplanets found, saying precisely which one is the largest is not simple. However, one thing that we can say about all of the good largest candidates is that they are all non-terrestrial and are very likely gas giants. So first let's start with a gas giant which has good potential to be the largest one found so far. That is PDS 70b, a planet 370 light years away from us. Its diameter is estimated to be up to 2.7 times that of Jupiter, and it has a mass about 3 times greater than Jupiter. This implies that its density is way less than Jupiter and even way less than water. This size, mass and density makes a lot of sense considering just how hot it is. Its estimated temperature is 930 degrees Celsius. The great heat probably contributed to the expansion of the gases. Interestingly, this immense heat is not due to being heated from the host star directly. The star that it is orbiting is overall slightly cooler, less massive but also just slightly larger than the sun. And this planet is orbiting this star at a distance four times greater than Jupiter is from the Sun, and Jupiter is frigid on the surface, so it is certainly not the star itself that is heating the planet to such a massive extent. This planet is one of those relatively rare ones which was directly imaged. This is an image captured of the system that this planet is in. So this system still has a protoplanetary disk, something that is present in the very early stages of stars, and out of the matter floating about in that disk, planets form. It is estimated that this planet and its star is only about 5 million years old. For some comparison, the solar system is 4.5 billion years old. Due to such a young age of this planet, it still has quite a bit of heat left over from the formational stages. That's why it is so hot, despite being so distant, from the host star. There is also another planet in this system, that is PDS 70c, a planet which is much further from the host star than PDS 70b. It is also slightly cooler and also smaller. The size estimate for this planet is not very well constrained, but one estimate did put it at two times the diameter of Jupiter. Another estimate says that it is even smaller than Jupiter, so it's hard to say what the actual size of this planet is. So what about controversial gas giants that are potentially even larger than PDS 70b? Well for that we have HD 100546b, another planet that, if it exists, is almost certainly relatively young, probably less than 10 million years. According to the NASA Exoplanet Archive, by sorting the exoplanet list, According to size, it is the largest planet, and with that, the largest gas giant discovered. Its diameter is placed at being nearly 7 times that of Jupiter, and with a mass about 8 times greater than Jupiter. However, both of these numbers are far from certain. The study that gave the diameter estimate only said that the diameter of 7 times that of Jupiter is the emission area for a temperature of around 650 degrees Celsius. So that emission area does not imply that that is the diameter of the planet. That emission area could include the planet, but along with that, a much greater area that is just dust and gas from the disk that is surrounding the planet. And that dust and gas does not mean that it is a part of the planet. So it is far from certain that this is the largest gas giant found. Interestingly, the mass of the planet being 8.5 times that of Jupiter is also not exactly present in the study which the NASA Exoplanet Archive cites for the number, which is the same study that the archive used for the diameter. Still, the very approximate numbers given in the study are somewhat in line with the number of 8.5. However, a study in 2018 did place a mass estimate of this planet and being around 1.6 times that of Jupiter. And to top all of the uncertainty surrounding this planet, the existence of the planet itself was put into question by a study released in 2017. One of the flaws pointed out with regards to claiming that HD 100546b is a planet is that it doesn't appear to move at all over the course of a four-year period, which shouldn't really happen even despite its immense distance from the host star. 
On top of that, the spectrum of where the planet supposedly is doesn't appear to differ from the spectrum of the disk surrounding the host star. There are also other problems shown in the study. Despite that, the study does give some leeway for the argument that the planet exists, but it does put it into question by pointing out several problems. So, overall, at the moment at least, we can rule out this planet as being the largest gas giant found. Although the numbers that the NASA Exoplanet Archive gives for this maybe planet are not all that in line with the study which the archive cites, that still doesn't matter all that much considering that they correctly categorized the planet as being controversial. The numbers provided by the archive are typically in line with the studies they cite. Looking at top 20 planets that are displayed when sorting by largest to smallest in the archive, it appears that we can easily exclude some planets. Every planet which has a mass beyond 13 times that of Jupiter shouldn't really be included considering that that is the minimum mass for a brown dwarf. Brown dwarfs are objects that are between gas giants and stars. They have fusion of heavy hydrogen, but they don't have fusion of regular hydrogen like stars do. They are not massive enough for that. That's why they are sometimes referred to as failed stars. However, they still emit quite a bit of heat, and with that some light as well, that is mostly in the infrared wavelengths. So, excluding these objects from the category of planets does seem appropriate given their properties. Considering that a lot of times brown dwarfs can be very similar in size to large gas giants, that means that diameter alone cannot tell us whether an object is a gas giant or a brown dwarf. So then one pretty good way of distinguishing brown dwarfs from gas giants is simply through excluding objects beyond 13 times the mass of Jupiter, as that is the minimum mass for a brown dwarf. Because about 13 times the mass of Jupiter is the mass point that physically differentiates gas giants and brown dwarfs, that excludes two objects on this list with a mass potentially greater than that. On top of that, two more are also excluded since we don't know their mass and other relevant things about them, meaning they could easily be brown dwarfs. HD 100546b is also excluded for the reasons already mentioned. BD 143065b is also excluded because it is right at that mass point at which fusion is very much possible. So, after excluding all of these, we are left with 14 gas giants, all between 1.9 and 2.7 times the diameter of Jupiter. One really surprising thing about all of them is that they all have a lower density than Jupiter, and by quite a lot. Even the planet with the greatest potential density still only has half the density of Jupiter. The planet with the lowest density out of the ones on this list is HAT-P-67b, a planet with a mass about 0.3 times that of Jupiter and also double the diameter of Jupiter. This means that its density is only about 0.05 grams per centimeters cubic. For some comparison, the density of liquid water is about 1 gram per centimeter cubic. Jupiter's density is 1.3 grams per centimeters cubic. So this is one of the lowest density planets found so far. What likely contributes quite a bit to the puffiness of this planet is the extremely close orbital distance to a star that is slightly hotter than the Sun and also 2.5 times the diameter of the Sun. The orbital distance of this planet is only 9 million kilometers away from the host star. Even Mercury, at its closest distance from the Sun, is 47 million kilometers away from the Sun. So the equilibrium temperature for this planet is estimated to be 1630 degrees Celsius. This planet was measured in a pretty standard way. So, it is a transiting planet, meaning that from our perspective, it passes in front of the star that it is orbiting. The degree to which the host star dims once the planet is in front of it also reveals the diameter of the planet. For the mass estimate, the radial velocity method was used. Through the detection of how much this planet tugs on the host star, the mass of the planet is revealed. So, the way that this planet was measured is 
quite a bit different to the way PDS-70b was measured, the first exoplanet mentioned in this video. The diameter of PDS-70b was estimated through direct images. Still, this measurement doesn't give much of an edge to the way the diameter of 67b was measured, considering just how well researched the transit method is for determining diameter. The mass of PDS-70b was determined in a more speculative in indirect way compared to 67b. This of course doesn't mean that the estimate is wrong or very far off from the real number, but it doesn't spark the same amount of confidence compared to the way the mass of 67b was measured. On top of that, although the diameter measurements for PDS-70b do go up to 2.7 times that of Jupiter in the study, the researchers in the study clearly state multiple times that the diameter is between 2 and 3 times that of Jupiter. So with that, they are pretty much telling us that although it is possible, it is not certain that this planet is the largest one found so far. The good thing about the exoplanet list provided of the 14 largest gas giants is that besides PDS-70 planets, they were all detected through the transit and the radial velocity method, and some of them with other methods on top of those too. The density of 67b is, as mentioned, about 0.05 grams per centimeter cubic. This is very close to the smallest density exoplanet discovered so far, which appears to be Kepler-51d, which is a planet just a bit smaller than Jupiter, and yet it has a mass 0.02 times that of Jupiter, which is about six times the mass of Earth. According to five different studies, the results with all of them place its density at below 0.05 grams per centimeter cubic. This is somewhat weird, considering that its equilibrium temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, and yet it has a similar density to HAT-P-67b, which has an equilibrium temperature of 1630 degrees Celsius. This implies that very high temperatures are probably not the only factor that leads to extended atmospheres, although high temperatures do appear to play a large role. Interestingly, there are also two other planets in this system for which the density was measured. Both of them are huge and extremely puffy, but across multiple studies, the results indicate that they are just slightly more dense. However, could it be that these low-density results for exoplanets are not real? Maybe we are just measuring rings of planets along with the planet itself, and because of that, arriving at size estimates that are far too big, which then lowers the density by a huge amount. Well, maybe. However, that doesn't appear to be very likely. Although it is true that all four known solar systems, non-terrestrial planets have rings, it is really only Saturn which has truly impressive ones, which could potentially disrupt diameter estimates. So truly disruptive rings are not present on every gas planet, not even close. The rings of Kepler-51b planets would also have to be entirely rocky, as they are in a region where water isn't solid. And even if the three Kepler-51 planets have disruptive, rocky rings, considering that all 14 huge gas giants on this list have a density at least half that of Jupiter, and typically a lot less, then it seems very unlikely that the density measurements are wrong due to rings for all 14 of them. So what is the size limit for planets? Well, one study did state that it is possible for planets with a mass 10 times that of Jupiter to have a diameter that goes up to 20 times that of Jupiter. That is about double the diameter of the Sun. So far, we don't really have good evidence of planets that are much larger than two times the diameter of Jupiter. There are many candidates, of course, but nothing that we can claim is much larger than that, and yet that is also certainly a planet. Eventually, however, that might change, because, as already outlined, predictions with regards to what the limits are say that gas giants can get much larger than two times the diameter of Jupiter. 